When you have a business, but don't know how to sell it well, it's only a matter of time before everything falls apart. And because there is more competition now, you need the right marketing plan to make your business better. Now there are many different ways to sell something. Let's look at the different types of business strategies. Marketing with influencers. Influencer marketing is one of the most popular ways to sell things right now. People no longer think about getting an athlete to promote their goods and services. Social media has changed that situation totally and made its own celebrities. They are called influencers for a reason, because their posts can get people interested. Influencers might not be on TV or in movies, but they still have devoted fans who read their posts every day and get ideas or inspiration from them. Not to mention that it's more important to have good fans than a lot of them. The bigger their reach, the more engaged their fans are. Some big brands even work with them in exchange for money to promote their goods. By sharing their videos, reels, and other content on online platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc., they can affect people's decisions about what to buy. The market for the influencer game will grow from $1.7 billion in 2016 to $9.7 billion in 2020. It kept going up until it hit $13.8 billion in 2021. So, influencer marketing means hiring a person with a large, interested audience to talk about your fitness business, like a gym or health group. Video marketing. Everything has been moving faster and faster every day. We don't have the time or patience to read anymore. Live streaming, interactive movies, and other things are becoming more popular. So, there is more demand than ever for video-based programming. Video marketing is not a new idea. In fact, it is the best way to get people to buy from you. Videos are the best way to tell people about your brand's story. It's easy to get people's attention and keep it, and it makes people trust you. Video marketing lets you talk in depth about your business and meet with viewers face to face instead of being anonymous or using a pen name. It makes things clear. For example, a video of your exercise studio will be more effective than a blog post about it. Believe what you see, not what you hear, is a common saying. Marketing on social media. Whether we want to admit it or not, social media takes up most of our time. We use these sites almost every day, whether it's Facebook or Instagram. Even when it comes to promoting and advertising a business, social media platforms are very important. Most of the time, social media efforts work well in terms of getting people to know about and like something. The first thing you need to do to market your fitness business on social media is to keep your accounts up to date with popular posts. In the wellness business, you can come up with creative ways to talk about health and wellness. These posts can include information, tips, the benefits of living a healthy life, and the bad things that happen when people don't move around much. So, let's say you have a good plan for your health. In that case, all you have to do to promote it is use social media ads like Facebook ads, organic posts, hashtags, and images and videos that are popular right now. Do your homework first, learn the formulas, and then give them your best shot. Even though there are a lot of choices, you should stick to the platform that your target audience uses the most. Content made by users. You can't wait to take a picture of your cool shades and perhaps put it on your page. User-generated content, UGC, is when a customer uses a brand's product and then posts a picture or video about it on their social media accounts. This kind of material is seen as real and original because consumers make it. Also, UGC helps consumers and brands build a connection based on trust. It comes in many different ways, such as photos, videos, reviews, and even podcasts. If you own a fitness wearable business and a customer uses your product and gives it a good review on Instagram, tagging your page will give it a good reach and bring in organic traffic. Also, it gives the review or post more credibility because it came from someone who has used your goods and shared their real experiences. Most UGC comes from customers, people who like a brand, and workers. For example, if you have a gym and a new customer comes and likes it, they might share a photo of themselves working out, a regular customer might share a video of several exercises, or the staff might make posts while they are there. Even though the crowd is different, the things they do will still help you sell your gym in the form of traffic, conversion rates, and real content.
All of the above are examples of user-generated material that could bring in more customers. It also lets you get to know your customers better. Email marketing. Email marketing is thought to be the best way to get the word out about your goods and services if you want to sell them. Email marketing is a way to get the word out about your goods and services by using emails. There are billions of email users around the world, so if you have a fitness program or training coming up, you can reach possible customers by sending emails. Emails might seem less trustworthy and open-ended because you can only see the email names of your most frequent customers, but that isn't the case. If you put some time and money into gathering email lists, there's a good chance that those will turn into leads. Email marketing is not only cheap, but it also saves time. Everyone who asks you a question at your desk, visits your website, signs up for free trials, reads your blogs, or calls you to find out more must be added to the email list. The email marketing program lets you put addresses into groups based on things like where they are, how old they are, and how likely they are to convert. In 1978, Gary Thurk, who was in charge of marketing at Digital Equipment Corp., used this way to send out the first email about a new product. Even though his email list only had 400 names, those emails brought in about $13 million in sales for his business. Email automation can do more for your business than just bring in new customers. It can also strengthen ties with your current customers and make them more loyal. Using emails to talk to each other often also helps. Instead of just telling your current customers about your new services, send them free diet plans, workout tips, and reviews every now and then. This will keep them in the loop. Marketing with content, SEO. Content marketing is the easiest strategy to learn, but the hardest to put into action. With this approach, the audience is kept interested by making things like articles, videos, podcasts, etc. a well-optimized website and material keep people coming back. SEO comes into play for this. People can't live without Google these days, and they use it every time they need to know something. So, if you have an exercise product or service, you need to let these search engines know about it. And that is what search engine optimization, SEO, does. It will help those search engines crawl your website and find a place for your information. This method can help you move up in the search results for your goal keywords, making your website even better than those of your competitors. So, if you want a gym, the first thing you should do is make a website, start a blog, and put out pieces that are related to your business. But writing blogs that have nothing to do with your niche won't work. They have to meet the customer's wants and answer their questions. If a customer wants to know more about a certain type of exercise, articles on that subject must be made. So you need to do study and come up with a good plan, from figuring out what the searcher wants to finding the right keywords and writing original content about them. In other words, a customer should be sure that these people know what they are doing. A well-written blog affects the company's online reputation and success for a long time. SEO has both a technical side, like page load speed and meta titles and descriptions, and a creative side, like great content that can get press and backlinks. One thing about a content marketing plan is that you won't be able to see the results right away. It can take a blog longer than six months to rank. So, make sure you follow the most important SEO rules before you post your content to build your brand's reputation in your niche and give your customers a good experience. Marketing based on conversations Conversational marketing, as the name suggests, is when two people talk to each other in real time through different platforms. Most of the time, this approach is used to make the online customer experience more personal and smooth. Conversational marketing uses things like chatbots, live chat, and texting tools. Through customizing online interactions, robots can sometimes have conversations that are so casual that they sound like real conversations. The goal of conversational marketing is to turn potential buyers into proven customers by making the customer experience better. Conversational marketing involves any kind of two-way contact. The best way to get in touch with people is through messages. So, when you're trying to sell your business, try to find out how your customers prefer to talk to you and change your tone appropriately. It is a pure focus on the customer. Here, the customers get to choose when, how, and where they want to talk. So, if you want to market your fitness business, you should do some research to find out which platforms your target audience prefers.
Personalize the way you talk to customers about their behavior so you can give them the right answers and information at the right time. Listen to what people have to say to find out where you're falling short. This will help you improve your conversational marketing approach. Try to make the exchanges easy to understand. To make the plan work, you should also test and analyze the data from the marketing conversations to improve their quality. Event marketing. Event marketing is a way to market a business that uses events to spread the word. Events can be either in-person workshops or online webinars, depending on what customers are most interested in. The goal of this approach is to connect with customers on a personal level. Events that work well can be the best way to sell your business. Event marketing tactics make people aware of a brand, get customers more involved, generate leads, and teach people about the brand. You can host wellness events or workshops online or in person to attract people who want to learn about health and fitness. These workshops can raise people's awareness, bring in new customers, and keep the ones you already have. Also, when picking the events, you should do your research to find out what kinds of events your current and potential customers are likely to go to. This is where you should focus your efforts. If you hold an event where people can connect with each other and have a good time, they are more likely to use your services. Direct interaction helps build good relationships, keeps customers coming back, and makes them more loyal to the brand. So, event marketing is one of the best ways to advertise because it's fun and gives you exact stats about potential customers by looking at the attendance database, questions asked, and lengths of time. Also, making material about the event and keeping track of the minutes can help promote the event on social media and other platforms. Fitness PPC Marketing You own both a gym and a website for it. Also, your material is well done. Now what can you do else to reach more people? Pay-per-click, or PPC, is a way for businesses to market themselves in which they pay a fee every time someone hits on one of their ads. The search engine is the most popular type of PPC marketing. This lets companies pay to have their ads appear on the paid pages of a search engine. When you look for gyms near me, for example, you'll see ads for some gyms at the top, followed by a list of organic results. The ones at the top have bid on the keyword you were looking for, in this case, gyms nearby. The goal is the same as SEO, which is to show up in the top search results, but the way to get there is different. This is called search engine marketing, or SEM. With pay-per-click, PPC, all you have to do is pay for advertising when someone clicks on your ad. Buying hits is a good way to get people to visit your site, even if they find it on their own. Most people use Google Ads as their PPC business network. If you want to get the word out about your gym, run online ads with Google and support them. All Google services will also show off these ads. Google Ads focuses on ad quality, relevancy, size, and bid price, so all you need to do is choose the ad format and keywords carefully. Make sure you do your study before choosing keywords and choose ones that are popular and useful. The landing page should look good and be of great quality. When you're done with these, Google Ads can give you the most views. So when someone looks for that keyword you bid money on, your website will be at the top of the search results page. PPC is a great way for small businesses to sell themselves. You can easily choose how much you want to pay for each keyword. This way, you can keep track of how much your ads cost when they are shown. Some campaigns can even have a Call Us Now button, which gives you an idea of how well the campaign is doing. PPC is also the easiest to track, so you can see where to put your money in future ads. Referral Marketing when we want to buy a product or service we don't know much about, we always ask people who have used that product or service before. This shows how powerful word of mouth and suggestions can be. Referral marketing is just the same as marketing through word of mouth. There are hundreds of clubs in a city, but if you've never been to one before, you should choose the one that can give you the best service. There are internet reviews and other things, sure. But if someone tells you about their experience with a gym in a one-on-one -on -one review, you are more likely to believe them and choose that gym over one with a 3-4 to four star re online. Referral marketing is a cost-effective and reliable way to get more customers. It uses networks of present customers to spread the word about a business. Even if we use a product and are happy with it, we usually tell other people about it.
This could convince our family and friends to try the product, because in the end, we believe what our friends and family say more than what ads say. Referral marketing is a way to get people to talk about your gym services. It turns your current customers into brand supporters. A gym referral scheme is a way to get members to tell their friends and family about the gym. Also, this can help them get in better shape. For every person they bring in, they get a reward like a gift card or a paid holiday trip. Isn't that a good thing for everyone? You can promote your gym through reviews, suggestions, social chatter, and most importantly, referrals. And people can find out about this gym reference program through emails, blogs, social networks, and websites. How to market a fitness center. With so many gyms and fitness centers around, there is a lot of competition in the fitness business. If you want your gym or exercise business to stand out, you need some smart strategies and tips. Campaigns for gym advertising. Hosting events to promote your gym is a great way to start, but you need to do something more important first. Advertise. Advertising campaigns are the major way to get leads and make people aware of a brand, and they can boost sales of memberships. Not to mention that getting leads is the most important and hardest job, and you can't do it without well-written ads to market your product. The ads can be on any site, like social media marketing or posters in real life, or any other place. There are a lot of different ways to run an ad campaign. All they need is a good plan. Plan well. There are four important things to think about when planning your ads. First, make people aware of your goods on digital or in-person platforms and get them interested in it. Then comes the interesting part, which is making material about the benefits of your product or service that makes people want to know more. Try to connect with your audience on an emotional level and show your goods in a way that they need. The last step is to get them to download the brochure or newsletter or join the live stream events on social media platforms. Set reasonable goals. Before you start the ad, you need to be very clear about what you want to achieve. Decide first what your goal is, whether it's to get more leads or to get your name out there. So, when you make your material, you can keep the campaign's goals and aims in mind. Choose your audience. You need to make your campaign fit the wants of your audience. And to do that, you need to know who your audience is. Once you know your plan and campaign goals, it will be easier to figure out who you should try to reach. Make content that is interesting. Visuals and images are the most effective ways to promote a brand. People these days are more interested in pictures and graphics than they are in reading words. Most of the time, the best ads let the pictures speak for themselves. People won't read your ad if it has too much information on it, so it should be easy and have less text. The shots shouldn't have too much going on in them. Explore your imagination and make sure the ad is easy for people to understand. Get your business listed on Google to get leads from Google. Why do you need a Google page and what is it? One of the most important things a business can do to sell itself is to get listed on Google. Google My Business listings are free, but if you want to hire a digital marketing firm to secure your listing, you will have to pay for a service called Local SEO. Google Page is a central place where all of your contact information is kept and shows up when people search for your business or service. It lets people find all of your contact information in one spot on Google's search page. If your page is listed on Google, you will do better in the rankings. The Google listing shows up under the ads in the local pack, which shows companies in the area. When you put your gym on Google, all the information will show up in the listing section, which is above the paid ads and below the organic search results. If you don't list, you could lose a lot of people because when they look for your business or the service you offer, they won't know what you're about and won't be able to find you. Your Google entry must include gym name, address, number to call, website, hours of business, images, reviews, posts, description. Some people even say that getting your business to the top of Google local listing is better than paying for click-through ads. Use Google reviews. People can learn a lot about goods and services from Google reviews. These reviews are trusted because they are based on real experiences. You can send the review link to your users and ask them what they think. Check your business page. Request that your customers write reviews. Respond to customer reviews to build trust. Think about both the good and the bad reviews. 
The things we've talked about so far will make it more likely that your target group will notice you. Examples of fitness marketing Gymshark is one of the biggest names in the fitness clothing business right now. It is also one of the biggest players in the fitness business. When they first started, they were an e-commerce company that sold supplements. Later, they changed their focus to the fitness clothing section. Since then, they've grown a lot, which has made Gymshark what it is now. Gymshark has come a long way since the days when it did printing out of a garage. It is now one of the most well-known names in the fitness industry. Gymshark Marketing Strategy The owners of Gymshark knew how to grow their businesses, which is the main reason why it grew so quickly. They have thought of clever ways to get people to buy their goods. They wanted to be innovative and make good products, and they also wanted to grow their internet presence. The company knows its target market inside and out, pays close attention to their reviews and comments, and gives them everything they want. Gymshark started out making clothes for men, but soon learned that there was a market for women's clothes as well. As of 2020, more than two-thirds of the sales will come from women. Influencer Marketing on Gymshark Gymshark has tried a lot of different things to get its name known all over the world. With only a few items for sale online, they wanted to improve their online profile, so they turned to social media to reach potential customers and make them aware of what they had to offer. Gymshark wanted to get the word out about their brand, so they focused on Instagram and used celebrity marketing to do it. They worked with fitness influencers by giving them free products, which the influencers then promoted on their own social media accounts. At first, they worked with fitness-loving Instagrammers and writers with a large following. Later, they started to talk to the big names in the game of influencers. Gishark's main way of selling is through influencer selling, and that's changed everything for them. Ben Francis, the founder of Gimshark, sent clothes to YouTubers in 2013. Since then, those YouTubers have become more famous. Their sales went up a lot because they used influencers in their influencer marketing plan. And based on this, they decided to sponsor 18 influencers with more than 20 million followers to help grow their business. By using this approach, the influencers became brand ambassadors for Gymshark and became natural brand advocates. If you want to grow your business like Gymshark, you need a well-thought-out plan for marketing. So, using any of the above health and fitness marketing strategies is a good way to get people interested in your gym, fitness center, or services. Make sure to use at least a few of the ideas above in your marketing plan and move forward.